Hey y'all. I am ready to get started and just gonna check on my uh, check on my page and make sure that that I can see your comments. Oh there we are. Okay, I don't see anyone on just yet, so I'm just gonna keep getting ready until See if that works a little better. Okay. Yep, that's good. Okay, so this is what I made today. It is a simple picture frame with a glass in it. This was actually a paper pumpkin project that um, we received, gosh, I don't even know when. It was probably last year. I don't even know. But it's a really nice little frame. It's got these springy things here that makes it easy. You don't have to tear up your hands trying to trying to get this thing out. Um, it's got glass here. And, and the way that I created this, we're going to do something very similar, but for a card so that you can make it at home. Okay. So we're going to leave that there, and I'm going to teach you how to make some um, fall leaves out of vellum. So cool. So cool. You see all the different colors that are in these? Hi, Heather. It's just me and you right now. But I'm going to teach how to, you, how to make these um, fall leaves and how to get all these different colors in them. And we're going to um, turn this into a card. Um, right now, you know, it's, it's, this, Heather, this was the, um, paper pumpkin thing that we had probably a year or more ago, and it's just a, a nice little frame, and it's got glass in it, and we're just gonna turn this whole idea into a card, but the main thing is a new technique, making these beautiful leaves out of vellum. So, we're going to start with, uh, let's see what color this is. There's going to be a whole lot of hold on. I got to see what this is and that because um, that's where I roll. So this this one is soft suede more than a year ago because I don't have ah okay yeah I've I've kept it for a long time. Um, I wasn't sure how I wanted to use it, but I just didn't want to do the project that it came with, so I've kept it because it's a really nice frame. This is um, whatever I just said, soft suede. This is crumb cake. This is the new, I want to say it's like, yeah, galvanized metallic paper. It's really cool. It's It goes along with the um, that country kind of suite, and I've got all the stuff for that suite. So if any of y'all want to see me make something with that, um, we can do that too. But this paper is so stinking cool. I ordered two because I don't know how long we're going to have it. It's in the... Um, holiday catalog right now so um, it's just it's just very very neat paper so I tell you what we're gonna do first we're going to get this effect here like the tin roof uh, ceiling tiles this is the international symbol for ceiling tiles did y'all know that mm -hmm. uh, let's see where I put my little guy come on now we may not let me see if I can find my Oh, it's right in front of me. It was right here all, the, all along. This is called the Tin Tile Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. Uh, yeah, the galvanized paper is 12 by 12. And um, unless you're going to do a huge project, you can cut it down to 6 by 6 and have, you know, a whole stack. Um, but yeah, this is, this is the Tin Tile Dynamic. And Heather, I know that you know this, but other people tuning in may not know. This is a deeper embossing um product it it just it gives a deep deep um embossed effect as opposed to the thinner ones that we've all been accustomed to so the the actual um the actual configuration you're going to use on your sandwich for the big shot is going to be a little bit different um but I'm going to go ahead and run this over in the corner yes these folders are so cool they're fabulous and there is a front and a back, okay? So I put the label on the back, but if you turn it over where it says Sizzix and Stampin' Up, that is the front. Now, today it really matters. Well, no, it doesn't. 
the galvanized paper is the same on the both on both sides. But um, if it you know if it mattered if you if you'd done something special to the um, side you know that you want to be the front then. Oh, hi, Susan. Thanks for joining us. These folders are fabulous. Do you have this one yet? Um, this one, I, I think it'll be my favorite from now on. I just love it so much. Um, and Susan, we are adapting a card from... Hi, Laura. We're adapting a card from this. And this may take me a little while to do because um, I'm going to teach you a whole new technique and then show you some uh, other things too. But since I've got folks on here, um, Laura in particular, I don't know if you're familiar with the Big Shot. I'm going to show you how to use it. So please hold while I grab it. I hadn't planned to do that, but I'm going to now. It's right here. Y'all usually get a song when, I, when I'm delayed. Like, uh... But Heather says that um, y'all can mute me, so, you know... <laughs> ah, but that's not to say there won't be a song, Miss Heather. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, I'm just going along. Okay, this is the big shot, all right? And it's a, let me get it over here. It's got a handle here. It does not use electricity or anything. Um, and it comes with a platform. Now, mine is the older platform. And it's got shims. It's got like a thick shim. And then it's got a thinner shim. And then it's got this cutting plate that you use for different things. Well, because this embossing folder is so thick, I'm going to remove tab two and just not use not use this thickness. So I'm going to stuff that in there like that. I'm crowding my little my little operation over here. I have put my galvanized paper. I cut this down to four and. Uh, or five by three and three quarters is the size of this. It's going to be the top layer on our card. So I'm going to cover it like that, set this down, and just put one plate. This plate is also a shim. Now I'm I have a few of these big shots, so I want to. I think I got the right. Yeah, I got the right um, pressure on it. You don't typically have to hold it like this, but I am because I got so much stuff on my desk. I really didn't plan to do that. Okay, we'll, we're going to use the Big Shot again in just a few minutes. Okay, so this is where the magic begins. Are y'all ready? Are you ready, ready, ready? All right, here we go. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Can y'all believe... I mean, I do this all the time, and I'm still just like, I love this. As Heather would say, I want to hug it. <laughs> so if you love it too, give me some hearts. Oh, there goes a heart. There we go. And I mean, it's just, it's just the coolest thing. You can use copper paper. You can use white. You can use black. You can use anything. Thank you for the love. So we're going to put this guy to the side. It's called Tin Tile, T-I-N. Tintile Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. But I got to remember is Tintile. Yep. Okay. Laura, I thought you would feel, find it cool. Okay. So we got that. We've got our soft, oh, this one's soft suede. And this one is Sahara Sand. And these are going to be our layers. Okay. We are, Laura, I don't know if I showed you this. We're working on this. Um, we're just going to make a card with these elements because I don't have another frame and I don't expect y'all to go buy a frame. You can actually make these cards. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. This is um, the Stampin' Up Snail Adhesive. Thank you, Laura. And it just rolls on here. It's double-sided tape. And a lot of people... Um, really stock up on this because you can use it like everywhere all over the house you know um, this is an eight and a half by eleven sheet and it is cut at five and a half by four and a quarter which is exactly half of the eight and a half by eleven all right and then I score it at it's eight and a half this way so I score it at four and a quarter 
So it becomes five and a half by four and a quarter when you're finished. So I'm going to just lay this guy down. I'm just eyeballing it. Some people measure. I'm not that crazy. I just eyeball it. I've been doing it for so long. Um, I'm kind of, it's kind of like second nature. And this would be the correct side to be out. Now, because this has so many, um, it has such dimension on it, I'm not going to use this because I don't think that will hold it well. Like if I go to mail it to my cousin, Laura, hello, Laura, <laughs> right? Then I want it to stay, I want it to stay all stuck together like that. Now, also, right now, if you wanted to use a ribbon, you would put that on now and you would tape it to the back and just kind of have your little ribbon there, but we're not doing a ribbon today because my brain is full just making this into a card. Oops, uh-uh, uh-uh, don't you do that. All right, hold on. I just swished it. You don't want to swish it. There we go. There we go. I'm just going to press it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I see you, Laura. Susan, are you still with us? I hope so. Okay, so here we go. That's kind of pretty right there, isn't it? I mean, this thing is just, oh, it's so gorgeous. All right, so let's see what we need now. Oh, look, we need some leaves. All right, this is going to blow y'all away. Okay, now, these are not the original type of, um, oh, whatever they're called, du uh, sponge daubers. These actually came in something, and I saved all of them, and I use them as sponge daubers. But a real sponge dauber, I will show you. looks like this and it's got a little thing for your finger you put your finger in there and you get your ink and you go la 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 all over your stuff and this is you know you can wear however many you want right um i don't suggest wearing these out because they're not that pretty but when you're crafting bada bing so why you know why buy a bunch of those when i can actually use whatever came in the package that i opened and it was there all right, so I'm just seeing what colors I've got on here. I don't know if you can see this yet, but that is the, actually, this is the um, Granny Apple Green, which was not quite dark enough for me. So I went back and I got the Mossy Meadow. Our stamping pads are fabulous. Um, this is the newer design here. And it just opens like that and closes like that. But the cool thing about it is your stamp pad is always stored facing down. Your ink is always facing down. So the ink doesn't settle down in the bottom. The ink stays on the top because when you close it, it goes on your shelf like this. And you can read it here and see what it is. You can read it there. I mean, I can't speak that language, but I do see the color. So, you know. And then when it's open, you slide it like this. And you'll see the color right here, so you'll know what color you're getting. Because when you open more than one and lay them on your table, they're, you know, hard to tell what colors they are. Okay, and this one is the older design. This one is, uh, uh, is called Cajun Craze. And you have to snap it like that, pick it up, and then slide it. Just a little different. Um, but we're going to use Cajun Craze. We're going to use uh, whatever I said, Mossy Meadow. We're using Daffodil Delight that I just refilled today with um, with the um, the replenishing ink. And what you do when you when you refill one of these, you just squirt it all on there like this. Okay, come on now. You just squirt it on there. I did it a lot neater than that. And then you take one of these handy dandy things that uh, I got from Pampered Chef and I love it. And you just squish and squish and squish and you kind of move it around and make it, make it, um, make it fabulous. Make it all inky, right? Okay, so that was Daffodil Delight and this is real red. Now these are the colors we typically see in the fall. So here's my vellum. And Stampin' Up! does sell vellum. I'm going to take the Mossy Meadow and I'm just going to scrub it around kind of like this. And it's going to be a hot mess for, for a little while. 
So we're doing this, just making a big old mess. All right, and then I'm going to see what color's next. All right, that's gonna be the Daffodil Delight. Ink it up here and go like this, and I'm adding a bunch of Daffodil Delight, bringing that yellow. Are you able to see the colors very well? Again, it looks like a hot mess. No surprise, y'all who know me, y'all know I'm a hot mess anyway. So here we go, okay? And next, come on, where's my little doodly? Oh, 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 I think I put it on that end. I did. Okay, and this is going to be the Cajun Craze. And I'm gonna start down here to make sure it's not too bold, and it's not. Put us a little Cajun Craze in here. And so far, I think the term Cajun is still politically correct, so we're not in trouble for this. <laughs> not yet, right? And if y'all have any questions along the way, now just put them up there, because I can see your comments. I've got my iPad there and my phone up here. So I can see... I can see clearly now the video's playing. Mm -hmm. I know, y'all knew it was coming. All right, so this is going to be our real red. And we're now this is a pretty bold color. But y'all see where I'm, where I'm kind of going with all this, right? We're going with... Just get us some fall colors. Now... Is that a hot mess? Of course it is. But we're not done. So I'm going to take the side and I'm just going to kind of buffer it all out. Make it all pretty. Look at it and see do I need anything else. I might want some more green. Let me see where my green went. Alright. Maybe just a little old poo. Alright, we're going to buffer that out. That's fine like that. Bring it in here. Bring it in here. There we go. I think that's pretty good. So, we are almost done inking. We're going to do, we're going to close up the inks that we're finished with, but we're going to get all of our inking done at one time. I'm closing up all the colors except for Cajun Craze, and I'm going to use this sentiment <coughs> that says, life is a beautiful thing. I'm using the Colorful Seasons stamp set, and these are photopolymer. Yes, fall. Yay! Oh, Laura, yeah, you knew I was going there, right? Um, these are photopolymer. And the difference between these and other stamps are... Please hold. Oh, let's see. I can still sing. I can see clearly now the rain is... Okay, I'll stop. Here I come. Oh, yes, Heather, you do have this set. All right, this is called a clear block stamp because before they invented photopolymer, they, they had clear block. And that means it's got a little spongy, um, spongy to it. A little spongy sponge. How about that? And you cannot see through these, but that's not a problem because we have other tools that help you there. But these right here don't have a spongy bottom. So we are going to use our... Um, our little mat here that typically would be for piercing. We would use this to, um, Laura, do you seriously have this set? Are you serious? Spongy bang backing on rubber stamp. That's right, Heather, thank you. Heather has half my brain, y'all. I left it in Savannah when I moved. Anyway, this is a paper piercing mat, but we use it for our photopolymer stamps as well. I don't know why I keep putting that there. We're not gonna use that. And let me get just a little piece of my paper here. Please hold. Okay. So we're going to stamp. We're going to take our stamp on our clear block. You do, Laura. That is cool. Okay, cool. Well, you can make this stuff. Um, I'm going to stamp it right here. Mm, let me go over here. Life is a beautiful thing. Now, you know, the reason it's stamped on the photopolymer, um, on the um, piercing mat is because this is kind of spongy. So we've got a very nice result. See? Very nice. 
Okay, so I am cleaning this stamp on this. Y'all, I cannot remember what this is called, but it's in the main catalog. And it cleans. It is so good. I love it. I've left this one out with ink on it today, so I've got to clean it a little better with something else. But that's the only thing I don't like about it. That's chaotic to me, and I can't look at it, but I do. Okay, so let's see. We got that stamped. Now we're going to cut it with the two-inch punch. We're going to use this two-inch punch. Uh, chamois, well, it is a chamois, but, um, thank you, Heather. Um, it is a chamois, but that's not what it's called. I can't remember what it's called in the catalog. Two-inch punch. When you get your punches, uh, stamp clean and pad. Well, no, actually, let me, let me just tell y'all what this thing is. Please hold. If y'all really need a song, you just have to let me know. Let me close this. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Ink is, ink is a game changer, you know? It's either going to behave or it's not. And if it's out on my table, y'all know I'm going to dip my arm in it. All right, here we go. Let's see. I love these catalogs. Y'all, when I travel, I take my catalogs. I really do. Y'all know I do, right? Mainly because I do so many videos on YouTube, and I get a lot of questions emailed to me. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I just go to the page. Uh-huh. That's what I do. And I answer the questions because I'm cool like that. Okay, where is it? Um, I may not find it right away. Laura, do you need a catalog or have you got one? One that looks like... No, go back a page. Wait a minute. This one. I don't know where you told me to go back to. Hold on. Um, coloring tools. Come on now. Here we go. Simply chamois. It's called a simply chamois. Um, flowers. Thanks. I need one. What do you need, Laura? The, the simply chamois? Big red poppies. Oh, these? I'm waiting. Waiting on Laura. Let's see. Oh, you need a catalog. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yes. I will send you a catalog. Um, I need to make a note of that. Send Laura a catalog. I've just put it in my brain, so who knows. Okay, I'll find I'll find out what you need, Laura, and um, we'll talk. Okay, so meanwhile, we're going to take this two-inch punch, which our punches are so awesome. I know you've seen those big, chunky ones in the big stores, but these are like a clamshell. They open and close easily and they sit on your shelf like this and you can see that's a two inch. I do wish it was going the other way because I don't stack mine like this, but you know, it is what it is. So there's a button here that locks it down. You just push that and it opens, okay? And then you see I stamp kind of close to the edge that so this little guy will fit in my circle. I'm going to put him in like this. I'm gonna, boom. Okay, so that is done. Okay, so we got this. Now we need, we're still going to do our um, vellum. Um, thank you, Laura. <laughs> like an eyeglass cloth. Yes, um, but it's thicker. It's like a, it's, uh, Susan, it's like a spongy, spongy thing. It's, it's this thick. And that's called the Simply Shammy, S-H-A-M-M-Y. Okay, so, all right, so here's what we're doing now. We're putting this, we're putting this metallic uh, circle on the back of our sentiment. All right, now, I'm going to warn you, this right here has been discontinued, but let me show you something. We also have, oh, uh, that's white. Let me get champagne. We also have shimmer paint, which it's actually, it's an ink. And this is champagne, and this is frosty white, okay? They are in the holiday catalog. Laura, I'll send you one of those as well. And I just mixed this with some um, with some alcohol. And I ain't talking tequila. 
I'm talking this right here. This is what I mixed it with. Do you need 70%? I do not know. That's what was in my bathroom. So that's what I used, and it worked. Um, I put about that much alcohol, about as much liquid as you see in there, to five drops of the champagne mist. All right? And I'll show you what I hope it'll show up on this paper. Yeah, it does. You just kind of spray it, and look. You get, you get a glimmer effect. Okay, I hope you can see that shiny, glimmery, let's see, see if you can see it. Let me turn on this little light here and see if that helps. Oh, that might help. Oh, how about that? So there's other ways to get shimmer paper. If you don't have the exact color I'm using, um, you can definitely do that. Okay, but this, this paper, I'm sorry, it is retired, but I think it is. Shoot, I ought to look it up first. Heather, you want to look that up for me? Do you have your catalog? Um, let me look. Let me look real quick for Glimmer Paper because I don't want to mislead y'all. Here I am getting all excited because it because I got to come up with a different something for y'all to use when in fact we may have it. Please hold. Oh, look. What is this? Glimmer Paper. Y'all. Here it is, right here. Thank you, Heather, but I did find it. We have gold, rose, silver, and sparkle. So the one I'm using here is, where'd I put it? Oh, I know where it is, hold on, nope. The one I'm using here is rose. Come on, where'd I put it? Please hold, I gotta find it, it's right here. I am a hot mess because we actually, my kids came to visit and I didn't have time to get everything ready, and here I am just pedaling backwards, y'all. Hang on, hang on. Don't go anywhere. It's right here. I've just got to find it. Come on now. Come on. I had everything here together so that this would not happen. And I know it's got one little circle cut out of it because I just used it. Y'all. Does anybody see my gold rose paper right here? Come on. <sighs> okay, well guess what? We're gonna use a different one. We are going to, I don't know where I put it. That is crazy talk, people. Crazy talk. That is so nuts. All right, hold on, we're gonna use a different color. Please hold. Okay, this is this is pretty awful. I mean, it's it's got to be right here. Y'all give me just a minute. I I just had it, didn't I? Didn't y'all just see it? What did I do with it? All right, hold on. Maybe I closed it up in my book. Nope. That's the problem when I get doing these videos. My brain escapes me. I know y'all don't want me to. Spend your time, waste your time while I'm looking for all this. But, oh, here it is. Silly me. It was turned this way. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, let me tell y'all how hard it is to be me. It is so hard. But it was turned like this. That's why I couldn't find it. Ugh. Okay. So now we are going, we need this circle to be a little bigger. Well, I don't have the next size circle. So I'm going to use the layering circle dies. And I'm going to go one bigger, okay? I ain't moving it because I'll lose it. Ain't going to do it. Okay, now, you know how we did our sandwich a few minutes ago? And we had to use it a certain way because of all the layers? Well, this is different. I'm going to close the... Um, the platform. I'm going to use all the tabs. I'm going to put this down first and then I don't even need that on there. I'm just going to put this down. I'm going to use a little washi tape. The washi tape is uh, super, super easy. It's super great to have in the studio. It really is because you can just use it for all the things. Anyway, all right. I put the um, 
top shim on. So we got all the shims. We got the platform that your Big Shot comes with. We got the two shims your Big Shot comes with, this one on the bottom. We've got our glimmer paper. We've got our circle. We've typed, taped it down with washi tape, and I'm putting down this second um, plastic shim and cranking it through. All right. Now, I should just do all the stuff right now, but I'm not going to because I'll have too much going on. So we're just going to do this one. I'm going to move this down. I'll bring this back in a minute when we got more to do. And because I'm teaching a lot, um, this is taking longer, but it's all good. We're going to have fun. Heather, is that a sandwich? You're so funny. That is so funny. All right, so I'm going to put this guy back immediately. Or I'll be saying, where did I put it, right? Okay, so here we go with this. Now, because this is a, a rough surface, I'm going to use my multi-purpose glue. This is a very sticky glue, and I covered the outside with scotch tape because I can't stand all the sticky, you know, after it dries. I just don't, I just don't like to feel it all over my hands on the outside of that thing. So I'm gonna use that because this is a, a better glue for that type of um, surface. Press it down and it's all good. Okay, so we're getting there. We are getting there. Okay, um, now <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna show y'all how to do the vellum cutouts. So we've colored it and I want something to hold the vellum up. I don't want it to be, um, I don't want it to be, uh, real fragile, okay? So I'm gonna take this cardstock. You could use any color, but you kinda want it to coordinate in case people can see it. I'm gonna tape it down just a little bit, right here. Okay, put this guy up, I'm through with him. Pick up this guy again. Okay, and again, we're going to use the whole platform, all right? So this hot mess right here is about to turn into beautiful. All right, I am using the Seasonal Layers Thin Lit Dies, and in that, you'll see this chair, which we're gonna cut that out in a minute. You'll see the branch, we're gonna cut that out too. This leaf, um, this leaf, and this leaf. You'll see in here we have little flowers, we have snowflakes, I love this. We even have a little cup with a straw in it to sit beside the beach chair. Very Bob Ross, yes. <laughs> yes, do you see the mountains in our, in our painting here? Okay, so I'm going to put, let's see, do I have a, do I have any cardstock under that? Yeah, I do, right there. Put this guy here. I'm going to put, here's my washi tape. And any washi tape will do. I just picked up some that I don't normally use a lot of. I'm just feeling to make sure that I'm covering that um, cardstock underneath. Y'all aren't going to believe this. I mean, it. It's so cool the way it turns out. Okay, and now I'm gonna put on my top shim. And remember, I've got my little cardstock underneath. Well, because it's vellum and it's a lot of pressure, it can cut all of it at one time. But just for the heck of it, because I've got one that is very detailed, one leaf, I'm going back a second time, okay? Now, Okay, this right here is um, the doodly do. I don't wanna look it up in the catalog, but it's in there, okay? And you get a little spongy pad that goes with it. And these are very sharp little bristles. Well, they're not sharp, sharp, but I wouldn't hand it to a three-year-old. Okay, because I have experience with three-year-olds lately, believe me. Don't give it to them, it's a trick. Okay, all right. So we're gonna take this one off. 
Look at that and the back of it. Now the top is vellum, like we painted. Isn't that cool? Okay, little hearts, little little thumbs ups, if y'all like this technique. This one right here has a ton of detail. Hi, Shell. Um, Auburn Mason. Okay, so this has a lot of detail in it. So I'm going to roll it on this. And that just, I mean, it just cleans it up. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Again, this is the um, vellum here. So now, this one, you see how it still has some pieces in it? Easy peasy, y'all. Now, back in the day, before we had this tool, people would um, roll this on like a pencil or something just to get these little pieces out. And sometimes they're a little stubborn. Not the people, but these little pieces. Well, the people might be too. I don't know. But um, <laughs> these little pieces right here. There you go. There it is. Okay. And would y'all believe I'm kind of sad about throwing that away? Because that would be so pretty in a fall shaker card. So I might keep some of that. I don't know. I might just make some. What do y'all think of that? Um, I love shaker cards. And who knows? Maybe I'll do a demo on that too. So here we go. We've got this. Yeah, you need that brush roller thing, especially if you have, these are thinlet dies. This is more of a framelit because it frames the item, but the thinlets have all the detail in them. And it will drive you 10 shades of nuts, which I'm already nine and a half shades, so I'm almost there. I have to be real careful about what drives me crazy. But it can drive you 10 shades of nuts if you try and just pick all that out on a very large die. It's it's just crazy. Crazy. Uh-oh, here I go again. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, I'll stop. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to dot this. Just little dots. Can you see how I'm doing this? And yes, I should be using my little um my little pad which I could get out of the drawer. All right, so I'm just dotting that around. And I'm using that glue for several reasons. One, because I can just barely tweak it if I need to, but that went on really nicely, so I don't need to. Um, see all the ink on my hands, just excuse that. But okay, so I can tweak it if I need to. I've got a couple of little places here I want to add to. And I want y'all to know we also have um, like a adhesive backed sheet that you can it's it's adhered it's adhesive on two sides so you would actually cut this out with that and when you pick your leaf up it would have adhesive on it because the adhesive would stick to this side and then it would be ready to stick down so you'd have all the adhesive you probably would ever dream of all right so we got that one finished now we're going to to give this guy a little bit um, I did notice when I made my other one that you you can kind of see the glue because it's vellum. And um, that's okay because now I'm streaking it across so that if you see the glue, it'll look like veins in the leaf. I mean, hello, right? Here we go. I love vellum. I don't know why. It's just, to me, it is so versatile. And here I've created my own designer series paper. Yeah, see how the, the glue is coming like that? Looks a little bit like the veins in a leaf, right? Okay, and my little baby one is over here. We're going to punch a couple more. Come on, little one. There we go. All right. Hey, Auburn. Oh, bye, Laura. Come back and watch the rest. Toodles. Love you. Um, Auburn, when the kids were here, look at the little bracelets that they needed me to make while they were here. Okay, so we're just going to put a little, little here and there. All right. Well, this one's so small, I got to hold it in my hands. There we go. There we go. Okay, so, um, 
I think we need just a couple more. Let's cut just a couple more real quick. And where's all my stuff? Here we go. Put that there. Um, I think I want a big one and a baby one. Is that? Yeah. We'll just put those like that. I'm not even going to tape them down because they're not going anywhere. Okay. I've already shown y'all how to use washi tape. So I didn't see any need to tape that down. And if you missed the very first part, um, Auburn, I assume you're still here. If you if you missed the very first part, this is what we're doing, but only on a card. I just finished this for the living room. And I don't think everybody has that little frame, so boom, right? Okay, so now we're good. I'm going to put these away. And they go... They go in here. I'm going to get this guy out. Come on now. And I'm going to get this guy out. Move this. And I would have cut all of these in advance, but I did not expect to be so rushed. So here we go. We're just going to cut one of these. And let's see, I'll go this way to get more out of my paper. And I'm going to cut my chair out. There we go. Hi, Kathy. So Heather, my cousin I told you is named Kathy Bohannon. She's watching. <laughs> there's there's Kathy Bohannon Elrod, and then there's me. Yep. She's my cousin by marriage, right, Kathy? But I claim her anyway. Because I've been in this marriage for 40-some-odd, 97 years. I don't know. Long time. Okay, so we're going to use our doodly brush to free this guy from his little metal prison. That sounds pretty bad, doesn't it? Okay, so here we have a branch. And I'm going to set that there. I don't know if we need more than one branch, but we're going to go ahead with that. And I'm going to set this to the side because I need my, um, my little pad for that. And I'm going to make another branch. And, and I may be making one branch too many because for the, for the little picture frame I did... Kathy, this is the picture frame I did. We're going to make a card very similar to this. Um, for that, I did use two branches. So we'll see. And Kathy, this is a big shot. And um, earlier in the video, I explained all about how to use this. So I think all of my cutting now is done. It is. Okay. So, we will remove this. Use this. Run that down. And it comes out. So that's two branches we've got. What are you doing? That one just had to act up, didn't it? And again, I'm going to put them right back in my little box so that they don't go anywhere they shouldn't go. Now here's my little chair and I'm just gonna roll this on here. Okay, look at that. Almost every little bit came out. I just have two little tiny holes there. I love this tool. It is a game changer. I used to cut things on the big shot and then I'd sit in front of the TV for hours punching out those little bitty things. No more, baby. Okay, so we're done with that tool. I've taught my grandchild to put things away. I'm working on the younger one, but um, the older one, I say, now put it up now. You know why we're doing that? Yes, Mama Bo, so we can find it later. That's right, baby girl. Okay, so here I'm going to design this as we live and breathe. Might just put that down a little lower. Let's see. Oh, this might be kind of cool. Put this one like that. And now you don't really want two just alike, right? So we are going 
bum 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 to alter the tree branch it's a big stick and it can go like that I think I'll do that all right so now I'm going to use some glue dots which are right here these are little glue dots um Thank you, Kathy, for joining us. Because this is this is what I do. And I'll tell y'all, it keeps me off the streets. Well, most of the time. <laughs> ah, it keeps me honest. It keeps me pure. Okay. As long as I can always order more, right? If I use up my stuff. Retirement doesn't always allow that. But, you know, we save. We save up here and there. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little glue to stick him down. I used a glue dot down here because it was bigger. And now I'm hating the fact that I used that little glue, but it's okay now. All right, and we'll use a glue dot. This is just a scary dental tool that I use all the time. And um, I found it in some lawn and garden store. I don't know, like, did the dentist stop his practice and start working at the lawn and guard? I don't know, but I found it there, and it is such a help. Okay, now I do not like that both of these have this little piece here, so one of them has to go. Bam! It's gone. So now they're two totally different branches, right? And if he would quit bouncing up in the air, I would be so happy. Just gonna put a little dot right, right there. You may not be able to see very well because of my hands, but I put the dot right there, and we're just going to give it just a second to adhere. And I'm gonna soup up some soup up. Did y'all hear that? Soup up. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna press that one down a little bit. Okay, so now we want to do our little chair, and again with the glue dots. Here we go. I'm going to put, um, eh, yeah, I'll put one right here because you don't really want to see it through the slats in the chair. And then, and I'll tell y'all what, this is one of the neatest, neatest hobbies. I love it. Um, well, with me, you know, it's a business, but, um, but it is so, it's just so nice to just make something amazing. And of course, I love to share it with others. I love to send these cards and stuff. Okay, so because we're doing this card a little different than our than our thing I made for my mantle, I'm going to use um, Stampin' Dimensionals, which are, these are little spongy, double stick type doodly-doos. I mean, if everything in the catalog was called doodly-doo, I'd be so happy. Because I'd be right every time I named them. And you just peel off the back. And you just stick it on right here. Now, I'm going just a little bit past the arm of the chair. And I'm going, I'm still on the card. I didn't go off of my card. You don't want to go off of your card. See these guys? You know what they got to do? They got to go. And there, it's fine with me if they just go over just a little bit here. But other than that, no. Okay, now, we need to put our leaves on. And this, to me, it is so cool. I, I know, I keep saying it, but it is so cool that these leaves were actually vellum. And I just scrubbed a bunch of ink on there. Look how beautiful the colors are. And you could go darker. You could use a lot more bolder colors if you'd like. Um, however you want to do it, you know, you can do it. It's all your design, however you want to do it. Now this guy, I just had to put a little glue on him and should have actually made him also with the big, the big, um, parts that look like veins, but that's okay. We just won't think about that. We won't think that he should have had that. Okay. A little bit on his stem. And I gotta figure out where we want all of these. Let's see. 
Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I kind of like that. And these little leaves, they would be hanging, wouldn't they? Maybe. I don't know. That's kind of cute. Like that. All right, just a sec. We're going to get this guy on. I think, um, you know, in fall, one would expect a bunch of leaves. So, let's see. We want glue dots here. Now, this time, I don't need to pick it up with the tool. I can just stick it down, too. There's a little dot right there. And I'm just going to stick it down like this. Pick it up. I'm going to slide it up under my little thing here and put it there. Okay. And this one, i um, going to pick this one up like this and roll it a little bit. So you see how it's kind of rolled on the point there? And then I'm going to put it on like this. Come on now. Get off of there. My hands are so beat up today. I am so sorry y'all are having to see my hands. But you know what? I waited over a year to do videos because my hands were so messed up. But I don't care anymore. I really don't. I just need to do videos so that other folks can enjoy making stuff. I'm going to put this guy right here. I like him there. Okay? And then, let's see. Oh, that would be kind of cool. Okay, so because his stem is raised up, and if I use a glue dot, he's going to kind of go downhill, I'm not going to let him go downhill. I'm going to put him a Stampin' Dimensional here, and then he'll get a glue dot on his tail end. How about that? And again, I rolled it a little bit so that I can just put it like this. And it's going to go on like that. So see, he's got dimension. I love that. Okay, and maybe, yeah, we'll use a glue dot for this guy. Little guy. Um, yeah, I like him down here. And then this bigger guy, he can have more dimensionals. I mean, more um, glue dots. And... There we go. And right here. Okay, so there is a variation to this right here. I think it's pretty close. What do y'all think? And there's the inside. We could put um, the lighter color, the um, crumb cake. We'll put the crumb cake right here, and that will be five and a quarter by four sheet of crumb cake and glue it down, and there we go. So that's all I got for tonight. Thank you so much for um, sticking with me. Please note, I will post um, in the comments here a link to my store. It's Kathy Bow, K-A-T-H-Y-B-O, at stampinup.net. No, it's not either. It's kathybow.stampinup.net. There we go. But I'll post it in the comments down here. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Toodles.